Okay, it's Friday. I will apologise. I know I have been a bit shit this week in posting videos. I haven't done one every day. I w I've been quite busy. I've also been a bit lazy. Not afraid to admit it. All right, this is an email from I don't know who. Hi, Tabitha. I thought I'd email you this because I'm stuck in a bit of a weird place and I feel like you and a lot of your followers can relate. I'm in recovery, that's in inverted commas, from anorexia, basically not starving myself like I used to, but still not eating. I'm restricted and I'm plagued with behaviours. I'm stuck between not eating enough and only eating safe foods like fruit and veg. I'm feeling dead. My entire body aches so much that it hurts to get dressed. Or eating enough, but I can't stop moving, standing, walking, cleaning, the usual movement bullshit. I know both aren't compatible with life. When I'm aching and restricting, I'm literally confined to my bed and unable to have variety of my foods because I need to make sure that I'm eating exactly X amount of this at exactly this time or my life is over. But when I'm moving, I have variety, but I can't relax. I literally refuse to visit my grandparents because that would mean a one hour journey sitting down and I recently walked for miles in the snow with an awful flu because God forbid I let myself rest. I'm struggling so hard to find middle ground and I feel like this is a place between movement and restriction where a lot of people get so stuck. So a Tabitha Farrar logical, no anorexia bullshit response will be greatly appreciated. Well, no name person. Um, you probably wrote that to me a while ago. I'm hoping that since then you actually got into recovery because when you wrote that, you, you're not in recovery. That is not recovery. That's just an eating disorder. Um, it may be a different, it, it may be an eating disorder that looks different from an eating disorder that you've had previously or an expressions of it that you've had previously, but you're still absolutely in your eating disorder. You have not committed to weight gain. That is what the problem is. That is why that when you restrict, you can allow yourself to rest. But when you're not restricting as much, you have you feel that you have to compensate for that by movement, movement, movement. It's because you're trying to avoid weight gain. You are still trying to suppress your body weight. That's what that is all about. So you need to just go all the way back and commit to weight gain and then start your recovery. Actually start it. I would say start your recovery again, but you haven't started it yet, actually. So that's what you need to do. Commit to weight gain start your recovery and start acting as if you are committed to weight gain. And if you are committed to weight gain, you can't be moving the whole time. You can't, it is not, that is not honoring that commitment to weight gain. And this is what this is all gonna come down to for you and a lot of people. Like when you say I'm committed to weight gain, do you actually mean it? And do you actually mean it in your actions? Because if you are committed to your unsuppressed body weight, then you can't be doing all of these behaviors that are designed to suppress your body weight, can you? And you commit to your unsuppressed body weight regardless of what your weight currently is. Because I know there's all this, oh, but I was really underweight and now I'm not quite as underweight, so I don't know. Whatever. If you are taking actions that are designed to suppress your natural body weight, such as not going to go and visit your grandparents because you can't sit down for an hour in the car, then you are at, and you can assume you're at a suppressed body weight. Got it? So all of that kind of whining, me, 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 this doesn't apply to me, shut up. Let's sort this out, shall we? Because it's so tiring to be where you are. It's so tiring. I know I was there for a really long time. It's just not a way to live a life. That's Dave, she's playing with a cat ball. Like, Dave is a great example of a way to live a life. Dave doesn't give a fuck about anything very much, apart from doing what Dave wants to. And, yeah, exactly. And she's a great example. You know, she can have fun, she can relax, and some days she doesn't even get off her bed. Apart from to eat, of course. Um, so, let's all be a little bit more like Dave. gonna be like you Dave and a bit like you stinky too. <laughs>